Good morning, guys. Thank you for tuning in today. The John Deere Aneroid. On the 30 and 40 series tractors, especially like the 4430 and 4630, and your 4440 and bigger in the 40 series, um, the 42, 40, and 30 are not included because they had a separate fuel pump. But any of the old John Deere tractors with the inline fuel pump, the old A series or P series, they had the aneroid on them, and that aneroid was basically a smoke limiter. It would not allow, when you hit the throttle, you're just basically pushing against the spring in the governor housing, and the aneroid would limit how much the rack moves based on how much boost it's building. That helped reduce a lot of smoke out the exhaust and helped their attempt to make the engines more fuel efficient, but it gave the motors a very weak bottom end. They were, they were turds under 1700 RPM. They were just even 1800. You, you had to stay at PTO speed to get work done out of them. Uh, you adjust that aneroid, turn that screw in, now you have a cat motor. You have full fuel. As soon as you tap that throttle, that rack moves, you get black smoke, and that sucker is pulling hard. I do a tremendous amount of field work with the 4640 and the 8450 at that 17, 1800 RPM range doing full tillage work. Um, mow board plow. I do a lot of mow board plowing at that 15, uh, shoot, even uh, if it's good going plowing, like in the spring when the soil is very soft, I'll jump up into fifth gear and just idle back to 1400 RPM, 1500 RPM. Everything's moving really nice and the tractor's just rolling right along and not using any fuel. It, it really wakes these tractors up, helps them out tremendously. So let's, let's go do one and see how simple it is and how in five minutes you can take your favorite old deer tractor and make it that much better. All right, so here we're at the engine. Here is the aneroid assembly out on the injection pump. There's just this little nut up here. This, this warranty wire, we called it. If that wire is snipped, then obviously you lose your warranty. But uh, I think the warranty ran out of this tractor um, literally just shy of 40 years ago. <laughs> and so, yeah, so we loosen this nut. We take that off. And then under here, you've got this little nut inside and then this brass piece. This bugger might be in there awfully tight. The, all it is, you can see the top collar is turning separate from these threads. So that top collar is just a little jam nut. And you can see the protrusion, how much that guy's just sticking out a little bit. So all we got to do is we just take that little screw and we just turn him in. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed, but... I'll, I'll manage people, bear with me. So I just turn him in a little bit. I get that guy just under flush. That's about where I like to run it at. And then I re-tighten the little jam nut. Then I put my nut back on top, snug him up, and that's it. It, it is that simple. And now the tractor is live and and alive and ready to work in that mid-range if you want to change the horsepower that's under this cover you take this cover off on some tractors the oil filter housing is right here so you'd have to take the oil filter housing off but you pop this cover off it's a 10 millimeter socket down there with another screwdriver bolt and you turn it in or out whether you want the power up or down and it so that's a that's a, on this on this tractor is super easy <sighs> But, uh, yeah, that's where you change horsepower. And then you got some other bumper screws here and stuff to change how the tractor reacts. But but that's it. That is the John Deere Aneroid. Right there makes it a cat motor. She's going to pull hard and go from there. Guys, I hope somebody can benefit from this video. Thank you for watching.